The pump dispense calibration wizard must be completed as part of the calibration procedure before filling any batch. This ensures that dispensing is accurate despite product viscosity variance. Required materials are a calibrated digital balance, uh, accurate up to 0 0.01 grams, and a clean jet fueler beaker. To begin pump calibration, we're going to simply click the calibrate button at the top right of your jet fueler screen. Make sure that you have your drip container in place underneath the needle. Your product must be formulated, loaded into the reservoir, system heated and stable for 20 to 30 minutes, and dispensing lines primed and at operating pressure prior to proceeding. Again, make sure that you have a drip container that is clean, and you'll want to record its tear weight using a calibrated and certified scale. When ready, go ahead and click Next. On this page, you'll want to set the initial syringe position by carefully dragging the slider below until it is near the desired dispense weight. Due to differences in product formulations, this initial position is a rough weight. Exact dispense weight will be calibrated on the last step. So I'm going to drag this over to about one gram, and I will click Next. For this step, we want to ensure that your oil is completely filling the volume of a syringe before dispensing. There are some instructions on the screen for configuring various pump settings like charge speed, charge delay, dispense speed, and dispense delay. For now, we're going to use the default values that we configured in the factory. These default settings should work well for most formulations. However, if you run into any issues or have any questions with this step, please submit a ticket on our help desk so that we can give you a hand. Using the default settings, I'm going to now cycle the pump to verify that our oil is completely filling the syringe before dispensing. Once confirmed, I'm going to hit next to proceed to the next step. Here I want to enter my desired weight in grams at the top. So I will put in 1.0 grams. Now I want to remove the drip container and tear its weight using a lab scale. Once teared, I can replace the beaker underneath the needle and click the cycle pump button. Now I want to weigh this sample using the same scale which was teared in the previous step. And we will enter the dispensed weight here. One point oh seven. And I will hit enter. I will again tear my beaker, place it back under the needle, and select Next. Calibration should now be finished, and I can use the Cycle Pump button to verify the weight. Again, my beaker was teared. I'm going to Cycle Pump. And now I will weigh this to confirm my calibration weight. 1.009. Once complete, I'll hit the reset button at the bottom of the screen, and then click the jet fueler icon in the top left to go back to the main operations screen. If you need to manually adjust the dispensed volume, click config at the top of the screen, and scroll down to the pump category to adjust your charge target. Here's my pump category, and my charge target is the third one down. Increasing the value here increases the total amount dispensed. Decreasing the value decreases the total amount dispensed. For reference, the syringe in your jet fueler is five milliliters. A pump charge target of 3,000 means a full five milliliter dispense. A charge target of 600 will dispense approximately one milliliter. A charge target of 300 will dispense approximately half a milliliter.